What up, son? What up? Louis Max Grind and Pivot, Queens, New York. You ever watch those cooking or baking shows on the Food Network? You know, the ones with the judges and the contestants? Karen, Caitlin, Aaron. Some of those shows absolutely drive me insane. My blood pressure goes through the roof. You know, so basically what happened is I uh, I go into bed at night and my wife is watching one of these uh, cooking or baking shows. About it. Previously on Best Baker in America. You know, one of these competitive baking or cooking shows. And for some reason, and it just, if this happens to you, by the way, um, down below in the comment section, let me know how, how you feel. I start to get angry, uh, upset, riled up, and it's late at night. And I know it's ridiculous. It's, I think it's ridiculous. It's actually pretty funny. I have no idea why. It is what it is. But um, this one particular show, Best Baker in America, uh, really gets my goat. In this particular episode, they were uh, the bakers were making a uh, a Midwest bumpy, bumpy entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. To create a full size entrepreneur. I can't even pronounce it. Entrepreneur. You know what? Google it if you want to know. I'm not going into the history of it. Anyway, these bakers are all set up, you know, in there on their perches with the judges. Now, the first thing that drives me totally crazy, um, and this is nothing personal, it's the judges. Don't just stand there and get going. <laughs> I mean, I understand that they are, quote unquote, experts in their field, or they say they are because they've written a book or they've won a competition or they're just great, you know, restaurateurs or something like that. But let me tell you something. The first thing that drives me totally nuts, and I could see it right away happening, is how the judges are up on their high horse. You know, who died and left you guys, the experts, to tell the other bakers that their cakes or whatever they're making are not up to, up to par? You know what I mean? So a lot of times, you know, they're there and they're saying, ooh, they're looking, they're watching. They, you know, they cut to the judges and they're watching the bakers so intensely from, I don't know, 10, 15 feet away. And it's like, uh, bakers, are, are you going to make it? Are you going to make the time? Because there's time allotted for each uh, course that they're making or each uh, presentation, you know, and it just starts boiling. It starts coming up there. I'm like, who the F are you? Who the f are you? Yeah, so the judges start to really kind of creep me out. You know, I think they always really, I always think they uh, creep up the bakers. You know, they have these like mini conversations. They shoot the camera shows the bakers and the judges. So one judge comes up to the baker and they have like these little mini conversations with them, you know, as they're baking. They're trying to beat the time, by the way. They're trying to beat the clock. And they always come, you know, uh, have, you have you ever, ever made, made a bumpy, a bumpy cake? cake before, you know, before or a entremet cake before? You know, cake before. You know well, I haven't made an entremet in, in, in 20, 20 years or 15 years. Well, girl, girl it's just like riding a bike. Back. I'm like, really? And then the girl, of course, says, well, she well, you know, I also didn't learn how to ride a bike. Boom. STFU right there. You know, the judges, they're creepy. Go, go back. Stay away. Stay away from me. But getting back to beating the clock, you know, countdown is such a big thing. You know, when they count it down, it's like. Bakers, you have first, you have 90 minutes. Bakers, you have 90 minutes. So I'm like, okay, thanks for letting us know in the 90 minutes. Anyway, then it's like 10 minutes and then it's five minutes. Six minutes left. And then like they flash and you know, are they going to make it? Are they going to make it? And then on the countdown, it's like at 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7. You know, it's like, oh, oh, it's going to be a tragedy. Are they going to make it? Are they going to make it? Are they going to make it? And finally, of course, you know, they all make it. Bakers step back, you know, and it's like, you know, it, it, it's, it's like the penitentiary. Really, I got to tell you. So I'm watching. I'm in bed. And, um, you know, my wife's laughing at me because I'm getting all crazy. <laughs> but it's true. You know, my blood is is, is really boiling. I'm, I'm kind of like yelling, yelling at them. You know, so, you know, another crazy thing is, uh, you know, they reprimand the bakers, the judges. You know, the bakers, they always bring something up about, you know, their last week's F up. There was a little bit of goo, but it wasn't like done goo. It was like underdone goo. You know, messing up. I shouldn't even say. 
But uh, they always say, like, remember last week when you uh, didn't have the levels you needed or you didn't have the amount of pistachio or you had too much this? You know, they always they always bring that up. And, you know, it's always a tragedy. Again, I use that word, you know, when they make a mistake or when something goes wrong. Let's say, you know, the ice cream doesn't work or the cake falls apart. You know, oh, oh. Oh, geez. What? Oh, Lord. You know, something. And they're like, Ooh, oh, 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 my God. What is she going to do? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's going to flip. She's freaking. They're freaking. Meanwhile, they're standing behind, you know, they're sitting at their perches. Oh, my God. And conversely, when things are going good and it's so beautiful, it's like an orgasm. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. oh my. You know, it's like. Give me an effing break. I try me crazy. Let, let me know in the comments below. Again, let me know if you're feeling how I'm feeling because it's it drives me totally, totally crazy. And I want to just tell you, this is sponsored by Brand Baking Supplies. You want something good, Hollywood, Florida, Brand Baking Supplies, you go get them and shout out to my boy Mouse. Uh, the bakers, you're, you're, you're not off the hook at all. I mean, you're completely annoying as well. You know, there's always one baker that's like prancing around, jumping around. And I'm from here. Oh, I'm, I'm making a cake because uh, with the New York skyline and because I'm from New York. And the inspiration for my presentation is, well, New York City. <laughs> and New York is this. And I'm great because I'm from New York and da, 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 da. And, you know, I love when they pan over to another baker while someone else is just ranting and they're like, uh, they have the eyes, you know, the eyes roll. I, I love it. I love, I really, I really do. It, it's so annoying to me. And I love when another one messes up too. You know, there's always that one uh, who's like, oh, 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 face. Oh, oh, she's messing up. Oh my God. Meanwhile, you know, deep down inside, you know, she's so happy because uh, one of their, one of their uh, contestants or competitors is, uh, is going down. And then there's always one who cries, yeah. you know, that completely messes up and uh, the cries, you know, starts crying and sorry. And then the judges, of course, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I know. It's, I okay. Know. it's okay. Don't worry. But they always tell them how, how, how messed up they are. You know, it's funny. So the bakers are, are, are one thing. The judges are another. Um, the format. Let's get to the format. The format, you know, so you got to beat the clock. You got to show your your best stuff, and they have different uh, different kinds of cakes, pastries, whatever it is. The format also has what they call a bake off at the end. Caitlin, the design didn't come together like you would have liked. Yes, you get a chance to redeem yourself in the bake off. And it's basically um, who sucks the most. Yeah, no, it's true. You know, they're gonna have a a competition, you know, to see who sucks more or the worst one. And the other bakers that are considered quote unquote safe because theirs were deemed okay are in the background, you know? So they're, they're like, Oh, go ahead. Do good. Do good. Do good. Caitlin. Come on, guys. Hurry up, Josie. Oh, Mikhail. Oh, Oh, please, Aaron. Oh, I hope you know that they're, they're back there. Like, guys, you can do it. Run. Meanwhile, they just want them to go down. They could care less. And then you, you see them also. I think at some point they also ask about. Um, they ask them, uh, you know, what did you think of, of this cake of, of one of your uh, co-contestants? The texture of the cake is crumbly, but at the same time gooey. The ice cream, I would like a little bit more lemon. Oh yeah, it was it was really pretty good. I I I but I wish they would have put more of this. I'm like, STFU. Yeah. The next morning I wake up and uh, the anxiety starts real early. Of course, uh, you know it does. Uh, my anxiety normally is a little crazy in the mornings, but that's another another video for another time. Uh, I'm just you know I, I said to myself I got I got I got to do this rant and I've never done a rant before. So I uh, maybe I'm crazy. Let me know. Let me know if you think I'm totally out of my mind or not. If you like the video, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Really greatly appreciate it. There's also a little notification bell you can hit and you'll 
be uh, notified when I drop new stuff, you know, music videos, interviews, rants like this, because I got another couple of coming for sure. And shout out to all the bakers out there. You bring your F and A game to these competitions. That's what I said. F and A game. Don't let anyone tell you you are not good enough. Don't let anyone tell you you are not good enough in life, in anything. You're all very, very, very good. Anyway, Louis Max Grind and Pivot, pivotal moments that changed everything. Stay safe out there, please. Peace. Closing doors, please.